to Willingwood Cluster's subtraction video. We understand that methodologies may have changed since you were at school and hopefully this video will help you understand the vocabulary and way we do things in class. This will ensure consistency and help your child to learn at home. Vocabulary your child should be familiar with is take away, subtract and minus, then progressing to use difference between less than and how much more. We avoid using for from nine and for away from nine as from and away from can confuse the child in the order they should subtract in. Pupils at early and first level learn to subtract units, beginning with horizontal calculations and starting with the largest number first. 9 take away 4 equals 5. They then progress to vertical calculations, once again with the largest number first. 9 take away 4 equals 5. This helps children learn that they should progress down a subtraction calculation. When subtracting tens and units, we encourage the pupils to use the headings T and U to represent tens and units in each column. They align the numbers with the largest number going first, 64, and as 3 is a unit, it will be in the units column. They must also ensure the subtraction sign is outside the calculation, so not to be confused in the tens column. They then begin to subtract at the units, 4 take away 3 is 1, and as nothing is being subtracted from the 6, it remains 6, giving the answer 61. Children then progress to subtracting tens and units from tens and units. We encourage them to use the headers once again of T and U to align the columns. With the largest number above, 64, take away 13. We begin by subtracting the units, 4 take away 3 is 1. And move to the tens column, 6 take away 1 is 5, giving us an answer of 51. Pupils at first level then progress to subtraction with exchanging. For example, 51 take away 19. Pupils start by subtracting in the units column, 1 take away 9. We can't do this. Pupils can check on their fingers by saying 1 and trying to subtract 9, which they won't be able to do. They then exchange from the tens, exchanging 1 10, leaving them 4, for 10 units, giving them 11 in the units column. 11 take away 9 is 2. 4 take away 1 is 3, giving them the answer of 32. Pupils continue to subtract 110 units with more challenging values. For example, 311 take away 299. Pupils continue to work from right to left beginning with the units. One take away nine, we can't do, so we exchange from the tens column, leaving zero tens, and giving it to the units column, giving you 11 units. 11 take away nine is two, then moving on to the tens column. Zero take away nine, we can't do this, so we exchange from the hundreds column. We take 100, leaving them two, and create 10 tens in the centre column. 10 take away 9 is 1, and 2 take away 2 is 0. We don't need to represent the 0 at the front of the number as it doesn't have a value. The next value we're working with is 705 take away 526. Pupils subtract the units first. 5 take away 6 we can't do, therefore we need to exchange. There are no 10s to exchange from, therefore we exchange from the nearest column with a value in it. 7 becomes 6, giving 10 10s. Pupils are always working towards answering the units first, therefore they will exchange from the 10s now. This becomes 9 10s, giving 15 units. 15 take away 6 is 9, 9 take away 2 is 7, 6 take away 5 is 1, giving them the answer of 179. Pupils then go on to subtract from hundreds. 900 take away 100 
and 98. If you will start at the units column, zero take away eight. They can't do this, therefore they need to exchange. Exchanging once again from the nearest column with a value in it, being the hundreds. They take 100 from the hundreds column, but have to give this to the tens column, giving 10 tens. Pupils then exchange from the tens column, leaving them nine tens and ten units. Ten take away eight is two. Nine take away nine is zero. Eight take away one is seven, giving them an answer of 702.